everybody, how's it going? I wanted to talk about this chain that I got from Hawaii Rope Chains. It's around my neck right now, and it's this 1.7 millimeter diamond cut Franco sitting at 18 inches, and this is 22 karat. Let me just show you the specs real fast right there. And this is weighing in at about 9.53 grams, and I have to say, I was shocked when I pulled it out of the bag because it was a lot heavier than I expected. And just to kind of give you a reference, I have this four millimeter Mariner chain that I got from Jacoji, same length, it's also 18 inches, and that thing weighs about just a little bit over 10 grams. So the fact that when I was holding both of them and they felt about the same, I was like, damn, this is crazy. You know, I've had a Franco chain before and I love how heavy these chains are. And lately I have been into the thin chain sort of craze just because I will say I, I saw this picture of young Denzel Washington. I don't know what movie it was, but he was wearing just this thin chain. And even from a distance, you could see that thing sparkling. And I just, that really inspired me to kind of look into more of these thin chains just because I'm at that point now where I want my jewelry to mature with me. So I want to be getting pieces and investing in pieces now that I would proudly be rocking when I'm 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, you know? So for me, this is a nice look that I really love. And the only thing that would make this even better, that would take this from a 10 to an 11, is if I had a pendant. So I will be on the lookout for a 22 karat pendant just to have on here. And I just love how subtle this piece is. And I will say today's the first day I threw this on. I got it at around 10.20 this morning. It's probably past 3 p.m., 4 p.m. right now. And I've received compliments from four people that just love this. And it's just something that you don't see every day, you know? I mean, you don't really see... I mean, I do see people rocking their gold jewelry. But for the most part here in the United States, it's typically... 10 to 14 karat and I'm going to show you what this looks like up close and try to get you to see the clasps and hopefully that focuses as well depending on how good my camera will be this is my iPhone so I can't even see myself this is the back uh, camera but here it is and it says 22 karat at the bottom there I hope y'all can see that and I know it's, it's a bit tiny but I'll focus it I hope it's focusing that's what I should say right there i hope y'all can pause it if you get the chance to if it kind of clears up for you so you could see that 22 karat stamping but man i really love this chain and i do want to kind of touch on something real fast that here in the states it's very um, common for people to be wearing 10 to 14 karat gold which is awesome but there is also this myth that wearing high purity, wearing anything over 21 carats is too soft for daily wear and that you should never wear it because it's going to break easily. It's going to do all this. And I'm specifying daily wear because yes, these higher purity chains are more susceptible to scratches and to, you know, bending a little bit more than a 10 carat or 14 carat, but they are not nearly as dainty as people make them out to be when you go to these jewelers because these jewelers have you know they will make more money if they sell you on a 10 carat chain versus a 22 carat so they're not you're not going to see them really bring in these kinds of pieces you know so make sure that you do your research and everybody that i have spoken to that wears high purity is always laughs whenever someone says oh it's too soft and like you should never wear it the people that are saying that online are typically people that have not tried higher purity but i'm i'm mainly talking about chains okay because i know with rings i know with bracelets those get dinged up easily because you know your hand can hit the doorway it can hit the edge of the table so you can see more scratches with those but typically when you're rocking something around your neck it's not going to get as scratched up as something that you're wearing around your hands you know so just be mindful of that and by the way, just an FYI, this video is not to, like, I'm not trying to be a, a high purity snob or something, all right? Because I feel like if you love 10K, rock the shit out of 10K. If you like your 22 karat pieces, that's amazing. And at the same time, you don't have to shit on somebody else 
for not wearing the purity that you prefer, you know? Like, so I'm not about the whole hierarchy and trying to look down on anybody or trying to do all that. Just wear what you like and be happy with it. It's around your neck. So who honestly cares what some random person on the internet has to say about the jewelry that you like to wear? So just a quick comparison right here. This is the 14 karat, and this is a 1.5 solid gold rope chain. This is, in case I didn't say it, and if you might be newer to gold, this is a solid gold Franco, the 22 karat here. There's no hollow, nothing going on like that. It's not a plated piece, but the more you look at these and the more I have looked at the, the contrast between these two chains, the 14 karat starts to kind of look like the gold has been washed out of it or it kind of looks a little bit more white gold the more you stare at it you know which is really interesting but yeah it's just just look at that comparison right there just the richness coming off of that and just to kind of elaborate or just to finish on the point that i was saying about high purity jewelry in asian countries like you see people give their five-year-olds, their six-year-olds, 24 karat necklaces, you know, and kids are very rambunctious. They run around, they pull at each other, they're playing around, they're tussling, and they wear these chains into adulthood. So that is just another thing for me, like another example to give you that these high purity chains and people in the United States and in the West in general telling you that you shouldn't wear them because it's going to break and be dainty. If kids can just rough around with each other and wear these like wear these chains 50 years later and they still shine the same they still look the same then that is a good indication that okay higher purity isn't as bad as it's made out to be here in western culture and i will say my grandma my nunai has a 21 karat chain that she wore every day as a teacher she's 92 right now and she got that thing maybe in her what in her 30s and her 20s something like that wore it every single day and I wore it recently this year and she's like yeah it still looks the same and she wore it as well and she worked out in it she was always walking with it always just had it on her you know so again you can wear higher purity chains on a daily basis they are not dainty they are not just going to randomly snap on you and just like you know it's not like buying a chain from Macy's you know so Definitely just do your research. Um, and if it's if it's too scary for you, then of course buy with what you're comfortable. But just to kind of give you more of a backing, I have also worked out in 21 karat chains. Um, and I will be wearing this as my daily wear in case you guys want to follow me for updates just to kind of see. Because I'm somebody that doesn't like taking my chains off. I sleep with them. And I showered with this today. Sleep with them, shower with them, work out in them. Pools, jacuzzis, beaches, hikes all that like really cold weather, really warm weather, it does not matter. I will wear it unless it's a sauna, then I've never been in a sauna, but that's like the one place I wouldn't wear a chain for very obvious reasons. But yeah, I, I will be giving you guys updates, comparison videos on what you wanna see, but I really, really love this. And I am on the lookout for a nice pendant. So if you guys have a like a place where you like to buy your 22 karat pendants, 24 karat pendants, let me know. I'm on a mission to find a nice one to kind of put on this sweet train right here. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all have a great day. Let me know what you're rocking as your daily chain and what your dream chain is, and I'll see you in the next video. Take I know care. it was kind of hard to focus on that 22K stamp earlier, but there it is. You might see it a little bit better right there if you want a bit of a close-up on the chain. It says the stamping right underneath the clasp. And that's just a little bit what the chain looks like in this natural lighting. And I'm specifically doing it in poor lighting right now, just so you really see what it looks like. I don't want any fancy schmancy stuff, you know. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day. See you later. Bye.